players able to come back. Yeah, I think we're we're in a positive trend since the Bristol game, so we were able to welcome back players to uh, to the Leicester game, and now we have a, a few more coming coming back in for contention. So that's good, but no players dropping out. Reflecting on the the Leicester win, it meant that you were able to secure a top three finish. I know you want much more than that, but how important is it to put yourself in the mix to play in the Champions League again next season? Like I said after the game, I think it's when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we see a European club. It's really important for us to be in Europe, uh, both to compete but also to get experiences there. Um, so that is an important goal every season we go in and, and play. But it, it doesn't satisfy anything else uh, than, than just giving us a good foundation for, for next season. So now we still need to make the most out of the three games that we have left. And what target are you setting aside over the course of these next three matches? It's our performances. That's what we can control. Uh, we need to go game by game. Um, we need to build on the performances that we have played before. And if we can treat each one of these games individually and have good performances, then I'm sure we will have good results as well. And then we can look at ourselves in the mirror and say we did everything we could. Finally, the, the Opta supercomputer gives you a 0% chance of winning the title this season. What do you make of that? Do you still think that you can do something special? Like I said before, it's um, it's about for us to focus on what we can control. Um, the Opta supercomputer is definitely one of the things that we can't control. <laughs> so uh, they, um, they can make their calculations, but we have to focus on our performances. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, James. Uh, we'll come to the call now. Tim. Hi, Jonas. Can I just um, uh, ask specifically about lots of women Moy and Kyra Cooney Cross and whether they'll be available on Sunday, one or both of them? Both positively in their progression. We have two more training sessions, but there are very much two players that I'm talking about here being able to be in contention for the squad here on Sunday. And uh, I wanted to pick you up on something um, you said to me last week. I asked you about Caitlin um, having like a freer role against Leicester to kind of come inside and I look back at your answer and you were talking about players making those decisions particularly in attack and, uh, and I've always associated you with being a coach that's very focused on structure um, and things like that and that leading to an improvement in the games against the bigger opponents and I wondered whether that kind of freedom represents a change at all or a compromise in your thinking? Was that a conversation you had with the players? Is that something you've arrived at during the season? Or is that something you've always wanted and it's only just really starting to happen? Being structured and being static is not the same thing. But it sometimes is the easiest thing if you want structure is to be static. Because if no one moves, then everything can be the way you, you want it. Uh, very seldom that's associated with, with good football. Where we, when we tend to describe successful team, we use words as dynamic, fluid, creative. Um, so now how do you get structure with that? For me, that's the principles. So if the principles provides us the structure, and the principles make sure that we are balanced in, in offense and defense, then we can have fluidity in the way that we move. Um, and the better you understand the principles and you understand how your position might impact someone else, the better you would be able to play with dynamic and, and with fluidity. But that requires some team maturity. And I think we are at a much, much better place as a team right now in order to be able to to adapt and to express ourselves that way. Uh, and I think some of the attacking play against Leicester was a great example of that. Um, how other players are able to take up positions that someone else is leaving that provides the team's need for balance and the team's need for structure while the player herself can can exploit the space that, that she sees in the moment. And uh, I don't think that's only for me. I think it's for most football coaches that wants to come to that point with, with a team. And, and I think we have developed in that area. Yeah, and I, you know, like I, I think three of the best XG performances this season have been in the last kind of three games against 
teams who have played in uh, a lot of numbers defensively and it has, to me, looked a lot more fluid, like you said. Um, and perhaps earlier in the season, it was too static, perhaps. is that Did that just take time or was there something you and the staff, things you and the staff really honed in on? I'm thinking particularly during the winter break. Yeah, I, I think when we see the season as a whole, and we've been saying that we would have needed to be more consistent in order to have more points than we have right now. It's one part, but it's also true during the season that we've seen a lot of progression and development in the way that we have been playing. So then you can also argue that our starting point this season was too low. And that's, of course, for different reasons. We had uh, very little time going into to the season when it started. We had new players coming in, so we didn't start with the same core group of players that that finished uh, the last season and, and so on. But I think that's also something we will need to to fix for next season, to come in at a higher starting point. Because we can see that we can develop and we can can progress as a team during the season, which is really important. But it's also important to start at a higher level than we did that this year. Thanks, Jonas. See you Sunday. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. Emma. Hi, Jonas. Um, just wanted to ask, obviously, top three has now been secured and a major trophy as well. Plus, you have now got a lot with those kind of back from in how Dabrishin stood. Just wondered in a good season, I think being that top three players league Dean would have involved a title charge, but do, do you think that this has been a good season considering what you have managed to achieve? Emma, yeah, you broke up a bit. What we got was that um, would this be a successful season given getting players back, winning a trophy and securing European qualification? Is that right? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, like I said before, I, I think it makes more sense to summarise the season after we, we played all the, the three last games here, here now. Um, but speaking generally... Um, is we want to win the league. We are the Arsenal. We we want to win all competitions that that we are in. Uh, we wanted to qualify for the for the group stage and go far in Europe, which we didn't do. We would have loved to go to an and playing an FA Cup final. Uh, so um, there are definitely things that that we can do better, and we know that. And as I've said before, consistency is a big thing for us in order to improve to start on, on a better level than we did this season. It's also an important thing for us to, uh, to correct and make better for next season. Um, and those are things that are entirely within our own control and we need to reflect and make that better. Thank you, Thank you. Brilliant. We'll leave it there. Thank you, guys.